Hello, friends. My name is Leo and I live in Portland today. I want to share with you one of the worst incidents of my life. If you like my story, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. This story is about my girlfriend who cheated on me. After that, I could never trust a girl again. It was five years ago when I was studying in the best college in my city. My parents died when I was a child. So I don't remember the love of my parents at all. My aunt took care of me as a child. But when I turned five, she sent me to an orphanage because the man she married did not want to keep me or take on the responsibility of raising me. But their marriage lasted only five years. And when I turned ten, she took me back to the orphanage, took good care of me, sent me to good school and did not remarry from my upbringing. I've never seen my parents but my aunts were both mother and father to me. I got the love of my mother and father from my aunt. He bore all the expenses of my education and training, sent me to an excellent school and provided me all the comforts of life. She's one of my best friends. The bad days of my life started when I went to college at first, everything was great. Then I met Lucy. She was studying in my class. Lucy was a very beautiful girl in appearance and many boys liked her and wanted to be her boyfriend, but she never had any special friendship with any boy. Lucy was a very stubborn and chatty girl. She was usually very mischievous. She was also a very intelligent girl and was very smart about studying in class. She always got good, great. She was very stubborn about her grade. Lucy belonged to a good family. She was the only girl of her parents. Her parents brought up her with a lot of love. They indulged with her stubbornness and their love made her so stubborn. Anyone who knew Lucy was well aware of her habits of doing whatever she put her mind to. At first I did not have a special relationship with her and know her just as my classmate. Then we got a final project that Lucy and I had to complete together. This project was a whole month and I had to work with Lucy for a whole month when I found out I was not happy at all because I felt that Lucy's behavior is not good with all her classmates. She's very stubborn, I cannot work with her. No, I wanted to do this project with anyone other instead of Lucy. So I went to my professor to remove my name from Lucy. But the professor did not listen to me when Lucy found out that I had told a professor. I did not want to work with her. She was furious and blamed it on her ego. Lucy felt that I was doing all this to humiliate her, but the truth was that I did not want to work with her as it was the final project and I was very worried about my, my grades and that my grades won't be good. Lucy was coming to argue with me. I was sitting in the canteen eating with my friends when I saw Lucy coming towards me in a state of anger looking at me very angrily. And so Lucy and I had a memorable meeting before Lucy and I knew each other only to the extent that we were in each other's classes. Nothing special ever happened between us. As soon as Lucy came, she dropped the plate of food in front of me from her hand or seeing this. I was very angry, but I remained silent. I'm a very calm person in terms of my personality. That's why I put up with her rudeness. Lucy did not listen to me and said to me, what do you think of yourself? I don't even look at people like you and you don't want to work with me. You have done all this to humiliate me. I got up from my chair and left without answering her anything. She kept looking at my face. I came home and told my aunt what had happened today and we both laughed it off. I went back to my professor the next day and told him about me and Lucy's project that I did not want to work with her and told him about yesterday's episode. But what the professor told me, I was surprised to hear that. He said that a little while before you, Lucy came to me and she left after telling me that she wants to work with you. So why are you not working with her? I got a little weird about hearing this and came out of the professor's room. I went to the canteen after talking to the professor and was thinking about it. Then Lucy came and sat next to me and looked at me as if nothing bad had happened between us yesterday. 
Why are you looking at me like this? She asked me very lovingly. Would you like to work with me in this project? I want to do this final project with you. I was very angry yesterday because I felt that when you told the professor not to work with him, I thought you might be doing it to humiliate me. But your friend told me that you wanted to complete this project with a close friend. So you don't want to work with me. I apologize for my behavior yesterday, but I want us to complete this project together. When you work with me, you'll feel that I do a great job and our grades will be good. A friend of mine told him to end this fight between him and me that I don't want to work with him because he wants to finish this project with his friend and I will never let him down. It's not doing it all. When Lucy found out the truth, she came to me to apologize. I agreed to work with her because the professor wanted me and Lucy to complete the project. And even after I asked twice, he would not remove my name from Lucy. So it was my compulsion to get a good grade that I would have worked with. Lucy. Lucy and I started working in this project together. We were both working really hard because we both wanted to get good grades. I did not want to work with her because I saw that she doesn't behave well with her classmates. But when I worked with her on this project, I realized that she's completely different. That's how I felt about it. Lucy and I had a great friendship. I never thought that Lucy could be my best friend, but her attitude towards me was very surprising. She seemed to listen to me very lovingly whenever I shared my problems with her, maybe I was slowly liking her. And as much as I liked, Lucy, Lucy was loving me. Our project was about to be completed when we found out the professor who was supposed to look at our project had changed and a new professor would look at our project and grade us. Lucy was upset to hear this, but I explained to her that when our project is so good, it doesn't matter if any of the professors look at it and give us a grade. A few days later, it was Lucy's birthday. I wanted to express my feelings to hear her on her birthday. I wanted to tell her that I love her. That day, I dressed up very nice and bought her a bouquet of flowers. When I got home before I told her my heart, Lucy told me that she loved me. She had some feelings for me that I care for her. We both became closer to each other than before then one month passed and our project was also completed when the day of final exhibition came and our, our project got first prize and after hard work, we both got very good grades. Lucy and I had grown so much in love that we spent every night together a whole year had passed since our relationship. Now, the final exhibition was to be held again next year and the projects were to be distributed among all the students. Again, we had a month to complete the project. Lucy and I wanted to work on a project together again. But this time it did not happen. Well, we started working hard for our final project. Of course, we were working separately but we were doing our hard work very hard. But this time, Lucy did not have any heart in her work for me. She was not serious about her work at all. I could not understand her attitude because she used to worry about her grades and worked hard to get good grades. But this time not at all, the day of the final exhibition came and everyone's project were very good. But Lucy's project was nothing special. I knew very well that Lucy would not get good grades this time. But when the professor announced the results, either, I was surprised that Lucy got better grades than me while her project was not good at all. And everyone knew this. Everyone was surprised to hear her grades. I asked her that, how can this happen? Your project was not good at all? Then how can the professor give you such good grades? She started arguing me that you were saying all these things to humiliate me. We had a good fight over this little thing. I returned home and mentioned today's incident to my aunt or after telling her all, I went to my room, I was very sad because I loved Lucy. And so I don't like to quarrel with her. I had already heard that the professor who graded our project was a close relative of Lucy's. Maybe she got these grades because of her relation. That professor's name was Thomas. Well, I wanted to end the fight with Lucy. 
The next day I went to college and asked Lucy's friend about where she was and she told me that I saw her going to Professor Thomas's room. When I reached near the room, Lucy's professor was doing something strange talking to the professor and Professor Thomas was saying her that slowly, it does not understand anything. But I hear one thing that Lucy going to meet with Professor Thomas tonight. She's doing something worse because Professor Thomas said one thing to Lucy that my wife should not be knowing that what happened between us. I was shocked to hear this, but I was not able to believe my ears. I started to hate Lucy. I wanted to catch her red-handed. I immediately reached home after finishing my call college. I took off the camera that found at the main door of my house. After that, I reached at the house of Professor Thomas. He was not at home. His wife opened the door. I introduced myself. She welcomed me at her house. Professor's wife directed me to the drawing room and said, I wait for a professor here. He will be in a while. I found out of his wife that he has to be a job. At that time of night, I understood when the professor's wife went to work, Lucy would come to his house. I took advantage of the opportunity and installed a camera in his room and went from his house. I'm waiting for the night. I was waiting for the Lucy to come near professor's house. I noticed that Lucy came to professor's house exactly half an hour after the professor's wife left for her work. I was standing in front of the professor's house and the camera recording was showing on my phone. I saw Professor Thomas kiss Lucy and pick her up and take her to his room. And then they started being intimate, seeing all this brought tears to my eyes and immediately returned home. I sat in my room crying that a whole night. Yes, I could not bear Lucy's infidelity in any way. But these days, she was not concentrating on her projects and studies at all and was being intimate with Professor to make good, great. I thought of taking revenge from her. And the next day I showed the video of her and the Professor to the Vice-Chancellor of the College till now. No one expect me and the College Vice-Chancellor knew what Professor Thomas and Lucy were doing with each other. After a while, I got a call from Lucy asking me to meet her. She wanted to talk to me. I hated her so much, but I want to know why she want to meet me. When I meet her, she told me that she's pregnant and the child was mine. When I heard this, I started to hate her more than before. She was trying to make me fool because the child was belonging to Professor Thomas and he refused to accept his child because he loved his wife. And when she knew her husband's infidelity, she will leave him. So Lucy said I make her pregnant after hearing her rubbish, I make a laugh and show her video with Professor. She became shocked after seeing this, I broke up with her left her in her pitiable condition. I hated her too much. After two days of this incident, she called me again and requested me not to show this video to anyone otherwise her future will be spoiled. But I already did it in my anger. I had sent this video to vice-chancellor of our college. This is true that I loved her very much. So I decided to request vice-chancellor to not to take any action on this case. But before my request, but before my request, vice-chancellor already take his serious action on this worst incident of his college, he decided to remove Lucy and professor from his college. Now, Professor Thomas played such a rubbish game to save his position and blamed Lucy for all this incident. He said Lucy already had made sex with many other professors for her grades. The professor's words were some but true. Lucy had done this before. She had been intimate with enough professors to get good grades. The professor had recorded some of his interactions with Lucy, which proved that Lucy encouraged the professor to do all of this. The professor was trying his best to save his position and not let his job slip away, but he still failed when I found out that Lucy did this to others before. I, I hated Lucy so much that I never wanted to see her again. I started to hate those moments that I loved her. Despite the professor's best efforts, the college expelled him because of his wickedness. But when Lucy finds out, the professor blamed her for everything. She decides to take revenge on the professor.
Lucy called me and asked me for a video of her and the professor. I was very surprised to hear this why she's asking me for this video first, I wanted to ask her, but I did not want to argue with her. So as she said, I sent her that video turn. Now the professor's wife was not aware of the whole incident when I met the professor's wife for the first time, I knew that she was a very good woman, a very innocent person and surely she did not know about all these spokesmen of her husband. Lucy went to the professor's house and showed video to his wife telling that she was going to be the mother of the professor's child. When the professor's wife found out she divorced her husband and left him. Lucy and the professor were expelled by the college. The professor's wife leaves him and Lucy and professor are punished for what they have done. Lucy had an abortion today. It has been two years since this incident. I live with my aunt and the closest person in my life is my aunt because she sacrificed a lot for me and never left me for my upbringing. Lucy tried to contact me several times after that incident, but I still hate her so much. I don't want to see her again. I'm spending my single, peaceful life and have no courage to love another girl after her infidelity.